Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Equibit Crypto. Uh, today's headline is China bans financial institutions from offering cryptocurrency services. Um, let's see how the market react on this. There haven't been a huge reaction from the market. I expect that uh, the news were broken around here and uh, and so far it's it's uh these news have uh caused a four percent drop because it looked very promising this morning uh the fud seems to be um, going strong against bitcoin at the moment uh, but but this is huge news and and bitcoin seems to be holding uh for now at least um a little bit of a drop so let's look at the article and see if we can make sense of what this means the institutions must not provide saving trust or pledging services for uh, nor issue financial products related to cryptocurrency so it's basically a ban of uh, of selling or offering cryptocurrency to people living in china i think the market kind of expected this to happen uh, but still it's it's a huge country with bill, bill, uh, 1 billion people um, so so it is going to affect the price and I think also it's going to affect the price uh, for uh, Bitcoin uh, for altcoins especially because many people in China um, do own altcoins uh, but but so far there haven't been the, the most violent reaction. We're still holding this low, but uh, um, we can have a look at the uh, um, at the line here to see if if we can hold this line today. That going to be very important to hold this line. But I expect that more and more FUD will be coming uh, on Bitcoin. It seems very similar to what happened in 2017 with all this FUD coming out at the same time. Uh, they are blaming um, blaming it on they, they're trying to protect their people from cryptocurrency. But the truth, as we all know, is that they want control and they are afraid of losing control if they allow people to to hold cryptocurrency. So this is a way of controlling their people. It's what we don't want. Um, it's a, a dictatorship like China who will control its people. That's why we are in the cryptocurrency space in the first place. So this note is very important, is that China have banned crypto exchanges um, and initial coin offerings, but have not barred um, individuals from holding uh, cryptocurrencies. So this means that it's still uh, legal to hold it. So, so they don't need to sell it, the people who have already cryptocurrencies, but it make it hard for them to buy any new cryptocurrencies. Uh, what we might um, expect from this is a boost in privacy coins because those coins are harder to track. So that might be a hot tip for, for the next coming month is these privacy coins, which I don't really like that much because they offer a lot of uh, potential for, for criminals. Uh, I like open openness and uh, and not these privacy coins so much but but uh, for a short term they might uh, give a good yield so i guess this is it for now i just wanted to give you this news as soon as possible and remember to hit the subscribe button down below and then thumbs up so so uh, you will stay updated anytime there is some major news breaking and thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time